Hashtag pause. <laughs> there you go. It's hot. It's like burning his mouth right now, y'all. Mm -hmm. That's that leather mouth right there. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the video. So, is we're going to be making this pork loin roast. It's going to be so good. I got it on sale for $6. It was originally $12 from the store. I'm going to butterfly this bad boy. Put it in the crock pot. Throw some onions on it. Make some homemade gravy. When the time is coming up. So, we're about to start bringing this crock pot out more. So, you can season your pork roast however you want. But today, I'm going to use this sofrito. And it has some green peppers, onion, cilantro, garlic, and olive oil. Put some of this, along with some of your regular seasoning. Put in the crock pot for about three to four hours, and boom. It's going to be falling off the bone. It's game day today, Sunday. So if you want to have, you know, some tacos, you want to use this to make some nachos, you want to use this to make some egg rolls, whatever you want to do. Just go ahead and start cooking it now so it can get nice and tender and <clears throat> make sure you stay to the end of the video. I'm going to fix you a plate. We're going to eat together and it's going to be so good. And then you're creating that crust on the meat. So you want to have that. So we want to come in with some salt. Now I know I love my garlic. I went to the store earlier and still did not get any onion powder. But it's okay because we have our fresh onion here black pepper and I have this on high so that way it can get a nice crust I have this Creole Tony Saturans add a little bit of this guys looking so far oh yeah how did it go Mm. See how it's nice and brown? That's what you want. And you want to make sure you do that on all the sides. To lock in that flavor. Same thing as I did with the other one. So right now it's about 1.52. So 2 o'clock. So I'm going to cook this for at least three hours. Pork doesn't take as long as beef to break down, but I want to make sure it's nice and tender. But whenever you have something that has a bone in it and you cook it in the crock pot, it should be falling off that bone. I'm going to go ahead and cut this pot down because the meat is browned up good enough. So it's still on stove top mode because it's just like I'm cooking on the stove. I'm going to go ahead and cut this on low. And I'm gonna go ahead and, um, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on a slow cooker mode because that's what we're gonna have it on. I'm gonna have it on slow cook high the whole time. This is just gonna give it some flavor. And that's what you want, y'all. You wanna keep building on flavors, just build on flavors, build on flavors. Especially with crock pot meals, you want to make sure you have enough flavor. 
actually I may not have to make any gravy on the side because this sauce may be enough where I don't have to cook the gravy. So we'll see at the end how it's looking and how much liquid we have left at the bottom. a plate at the end so y'all gotta wait till everything is done and then you can taste it so keep watching this video and we're gonna see the end result so right now I'm just separating it from the bone and I'm just gonna let it continue to cook and the sauce oh my god look it's just the bone is gone look at this all right y'all so we are done this pork roast came out so good. It's nice and tender. Daddy is woke. He ready to eat. I've been telling you I'm gonna fix your plate all night, all day. So it's it's time. So I'm gonna go in, fix his plate. It's game day. He's watching his Cowboys game. You know it. Boy, bye. <laughs> go Cowboys. All right, so let me fix this food, y'all. Looks delicious. So this is the rice. This enough? Yes. All right, the grains. Make sure he eat them grains, y'all. So make sure y'all <coughs> make your husbands, boyfriends, partners eat them vegetables. Hashtag eat your vegetables. You know they don't want to eat their vegetables, but they got to. Look at those squash. Oh, they, she gonna share that squash. No, I'm not. That's my squash. Look at that, that cheesy roasted squash. I know I told y'all I was making the squash, but this Delicious. is not squash. Delicious. She's gonna share some of that squash. He's only gonna get a little bit. Mm. You wouldn't even know this is squash unless somebody told you it was squash. The way I make it. I'm gonna go in with this one. And you're gonna put it right on top of the rice. And drizzle some of that sauce on there. Yes. Put it right on top of the rice, y'all. There we go. Put some of that gravy. Okay. All right, so pot roast with rice, greens, and squash. Cheesy squash. Here go your plate, his plate. Thanks for watching the video. Come back again. It's nice and hot. Grab a beer. Let's go. See you next video. So he Let's about to taste all this goodness that we've been working so hard on all afternoon. Oh yes, make sure you get a piece of everything in every bite. Mm. Hashtag eat your vegetables. Eat your vegetables. Okay, yes, taste the squash. Cheese squash. Delicious. Okay, it's nice and hot, y'all. 
and eat some more of that pot roast. Look at it. So good. Get another piece of that meat on it. Hashtag pause. <laughs> there you go. The it's hot. It's like burning his mouth right now, y'all. Mm -hmm. That's that leather mouth right there. <laughs> 